In this video, we will take a look at the Visualization Explorer, a declarative widget that allows you to build visualizations interactively in a Jupyter Notebook. First, we'll import declarative widgets. Then we need to load some data. In this example, we will load New York City taxi trip data. Here we're using a pandas data frame in Python. We also support R and Scala data frames. We can now call the explore function, passing it our data. The explorer appears, and we can use it to quickly and interactively build visualizations. On the left side, we see three sections. The first section allows you to pick the type of visual, either a table or a plot. Let's make a scatter plot. The second section displays any options for the chosen plot type, such as x and y axes. Let's plot distance on the x-axis and trip time on the y-axis. The third section allows you to apply queries to the data, which can either be filters or group eyes with aggregations. Let's filter out some of these outliers to get a better look at the bulk of our data. I'm interested in seeing the average time based on distance, so let's group by distance and compute the mean trip time. I can add as many groups, aggregations, and filters as I like to get the data in the format I need. The Explore settings will be saved in the Notebook Cell Metadata, so if I configure this chart the way I like it, but then want to come back to it later, it will load the same way I had it. One of the benefits of using declarative widgets is the ability to use chart selection to manipulate other widgets. We can enable this by adding a bindings argument to the explore function. This argument is a map of attribute names and values to apply to the explorer HTML element. We can map the selection attribute to a variable name to access our selection from another widget. To make selection a bit easier, we can also set the selection as object property, which we do by adding a properties argument with selection as object set to true. Since this data has latitude and longitude information representing taxi trips, we can use table selection to plot the start and end points of a trip on a Google map. Here's the code to do this. Note that we use the column names as properties in the selection because we set the selection as object property in the explore function. Now we see the points shown on the map when we select a data row in the table. Now that we have something interesting, we can hide the controls using the collapse button. Now, using the Jupyter Dashboards extension, we could create an interactive dashboard containing the elements we just created. Using the Visualization Explorer, it becomes easier to explore your data and share your findings with others.